All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. So another well-known rock band uh, who not too long ago got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, they're calling it quits uh, as their uh, lead guy, uh, the genius in the band, has apparently suffered a stroke and will be retiring from touring after 60 years. So the band canceled their tour. Uh, Rod Argent, if you don't know who Rod Argent is, it just makes me kind of sad. <laughs> just co-founder and longtime member of the legendary rock band The Zombies. Not to mention um, a big deal when it comes to the band Argent, as that's another band he was in, my... My favorite work by Rod is going to be in Argent. I do like the zombies, but, you know, the zombies get into the Hall of Fame, which is a little perplexing for me. They have three radio singles, and they have one album. I think it's Odyssey and Oracle or something like that. It's a really cool album. To grab some headphones, um, that would have been in the day you'd be smoking some wacky tobacco listening to that one. Um, I never touch the stuff. So I'm just saying that as a, you know, it's kind of a cliche thing to say, but, um, really impressive album and most rock publications, uh, back a number of years ago would always say, yeah, zombies, Odyssey and Oracle. And again, if I'm screwing up the title, that's because I'm not Googling it. I'm just trying to remember it. Um, but anyway, Rod Argent. Uh, a pretty smart guy, uh, decent musician, co-founder and longtime member of the Zombies, he has announced his retirement from touring after suffering a stroke. Now, I don't think anything too weird is going on here, but then again, who knows? Who knows? Um, this is what's weird about this post-thing era that we're in. Um even though the guy is 79, who's to say what caused his stroke, right? Um, this uh, timing, though, was unfortunate because he suffered a stroke um, while celebrating his birthday and his 52nd wedding anniversary. By the way, kudos to any rock star that stays married for 52 years. That is, that's awesome. Just putting it out there. Um Here's the blurb from social media. We are saddened to report that Rod Argent, founder, keyboardist, and primary songwriter of the Zombies, has suffered a stroke. Uh, Rod had uh, recently returned home from a triumphant Zombies tour of the UK and spent a weekend in London with his beloved wife, Kathy, celebrating their 79th birthday. Uh, or his 79th birthday, and their 52nd wedding anniversary before the stroke occurred. The keyboardist, who was hospitalized for one night, was released the following day and was advised to have several months of rest and recuperation. Argent planned to slow down on performing after an upcoming tour with the band in the fall, which would be his last overseas tour. So that tour has been canceled, he does plan to continue recording music with the band, which is a little perplexing, especially how we all know that music by an older band like this is not going to be well-received. And it, even if it turns out to be really good music, uh, who's going to play it? Classic rock stations, are they going to play it? No, of course not. Our hope is to replace the scheduled Zombies performance with a special show honoring Rod and ask fans to hold on to their tickets until we've had time to regroup and announce new plans. So maybe they're going to go out there without Rod? I'm not sure. Uh, the keyboardist took a hiatus from touring back in 1975 to spend time with his family. Uh, singer Colin Blunstone then convinced Argent to rejoin the group to play a few shows as a fill-in in 1999. And Argent has been back for the last 25 years performing with his band, The Zombies. I wish they would go out there and play some Argent songs. I imagine they must. 
they have to, because how are you going to fill an hour or 90 minutes? I don't know how long they play for, but the three songs that were on my favorite oldies stations back in the day, She's Not There, Tell Her No, and Time of the Season. Those are the three. The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2019. But yet, Alan Parsons is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The only reason I, I mention Alan Parsons is that I, I'm thinking Rod's a pretty genius kind of guy, but here's a guy that was there for the Beatles and for Pink Floyd, and then he started this amazing band, and that band, by the way, had a lot more radio success than, uh, than the Zombies had, and maybe add Argent to that, but... um. It's just weird and very arbitrary how certain people get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, some person said it was like Paul Schaefer who had this uh, love of the whole, you know, zombies thing. And so that's how they got in. But yet, Alan Parsons is not. <laughs> just before these people die, I mean, Alan Parsons is a genius, all right? Just an absolute genius. Steve Lukather is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Just let these sink in. Those two guys alone, Lukather and Alan Parsons. And every so often, I think of a musician who's not in there, and I just shake my head going, the guy's a genius. Bill Champlin. Bill Champlin is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All right, so those are three. <laughs> you, I'm sure, have your list of like 50. Um, but of course, we, uh, we want to wish... Uh, Rod Argent, well, we will be cliche here and say to hold your head up and um, to get well and just chill out. 60 years, that's a good run, right? You don't need to keep going. 60 is good. Um, there's nothing more to prove. The fans that love you will understand. They can go back and listen to their great, you know, their their music collection of, of Argent stuff or the zombies or what have you. Um, I just, again, rock and roll was never meant to be like a, an old man's sport. And in some cases it can be, but in other cases, it's just, it's like, it's the time of the season. All right. To stop playing music. Sorry. Anyway, folks, um, thanks for watching. Sorry for this video. Um, please subscribe anyway. Uh, if if you're feeling that way to do that and uh, YouTube memberships also Patreon if you want to support this channel if you're feeling sorry for me and uh, also um, buy me a coffee which I have folks buying me coffees and sending me messages most of those messages are good messages so I appreciate that God bless everyone stay safe out there there's a lot of people canceling shows there are members who are sick uh, Elvis Costello, his band, there's something going on there. Morgan Wallen, the country guy, I think he just canceled. Ellen DeGeneres, she was out there on tour, which I find to be kind of, not as a musician, but trying to be a stand-up comic again, and I think she canceled a bunch of dates. And I don't know if these people did the little elf protocol. If they did, you need to pray for them. You need to just pray for everybody because we're all in contact with one another. And I don't know if that's a good thing either. You know, there is this thing called shedding and it's a thing. It's a, it's a real thing. It's the way you pass um, germs around and then you're passing other things to people. So um, just take precautions, uh, be healthy, uh, take your vitamins, exercise. Um, yes, you can build your own natural immunity and be healthy or at least attempt to be that's the only thing you can do and so yeah and pray and try to live um a good lifestyle and i think that will go a long way to keeping you at peace with yourself and uh, hopefully with god so anyway folks uh thanks for watching and i will talk to you soon <laughs>